everybody, it's Sam and Crown. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got another Easter themed project and this is a large box card and it has a huge bar of chocolate inside. So I have done a smaller version before and I thought this would be great as a nice alternative to giving an Easter egg because really when you think about it, the size of this chocolate bar, if you were to melt down a large Easter egg, this chocolate bar still has more chocolate because I looked at them today and the, the the amount of grams you get in this heavy chocolate bar is a lot more than those eggs but they charge six pound whereas this was only two so <laughs> yeah begrudgingly I'd rather give this because you get more chocolate so this is Happy Easter it's using the Hell's Couple Ditch Spring Welcome Spring magazine I'll show you that one in a minute and basically you just slide off the ribbon now you could have the ribbon going through the underneath this rosette, have the rosette centred. The reason why I've done it separate is because people like to keep the ribbons and these people that I'm giving it to, I may well get this ribbon back. So <laughs> if you stick it under, it's obviously a bit more difficult to keep. So that's the top. This is a really pretty rosette and this lovely little doily underneath as well using my favourite carrot paper and then inside you open up and I've continued the carrot paper there and then at the bottom there I've put Hoppy Easter and this was a little stamp that I stamped and coloured in so I've done the carrot there to match and then at the top here you just open up your box and inside you have a very large dairy milk yum so these ones measure you measure the actual chocolate because this can fold in and that's what I've done to get it to fit so this is oh, seven and actually let me just do it that way instead so this is seven and a quarter okay by you're looking at four inches all right so that's the chocolate bar size so if you've got something of similar size or smaller then it will work with this box here and I've folded in those bits as well okay so that is the size that you're looking for but I think it's just a really nice idea you know a nice way to give a card and you know, a treat at the same time. You could stick a gift card on here as well. You can maybe put a gift card for a coffee shop. So they've got some, you know, chocolate and then some vouchers to go and get some drinks. So you could do something on the back there as well. But yeah, it's just a nice way. I will link in the smaller version that I've done for anybody that's missed that. Because I think I've done that possibly as a Mother's Day, I want to say. It was with a hobby base kit, I think, that i done it, but it all closes up. It's a really nice gift, this one, and then I'll pop the ribbon on it later. So, to make this, like I said, there's the magazine, Welcome Spring. It's from an Etsy shop, so a few people have said where, um, you know, can they, thinking it was like from like a big brand company, and it's not. This is just a um, independent Etsy store, and um, yeah, got it from there. So I'll share all those links for you anyway. Okay, so this is the other bar, but like I said, these were two pounds, so, and these are 200 grams, okay. That's the Happy Easter that I stamped here, so this is those woodware, these ones are called Easter Greetings, I picked that up the other day, I shared that in one of my What Did I Get videos. This is the mini doilies. These are really good, and I think they might still be available in every craft a pound, but they're the last year's Nature's Grace Dovecraft collection, but they're really nice smaller doilies, so they've been really handy, and they're great for sticking um, a rosette over the top like I did. So, for the main, so it's a deconstructed box, because I wanted to do this using my paper mill direct 300 gsm cardstock and not 12 by 12 if you do it using 12 by 12 you'd have to change and work that out yourself so this is deconstructed so that i could use my a4 or in some people's cases letter card size paper okay so for the main base the back piece really this is a piece of six and five eighths of an inch by ten and a quarter and you want to score on all four sides at five eighths of an inch and one and a quarter okay so five eighths of an inch and one and a quarter on all four sides okay so I've already scored this but that's that piece ready then you've got your lid so I've already scored this to show but that's going to be the lid so this piece here is stuck on separate okay so this measures four and three quarters by seven and three quarters and then along the four and three quarter side, you want to again score at five, I'm sorry, yeah, score at five eighths of an inch, okay? 
this fortunately this is again papers from the magazine and where that one is it fits perfectly so that that Easter egg display runs along the spine so you know obviously with that one there it didn't matter what pattern paper because it wrapped all the way around and then on this side I've stuck a separate strip okay but you can decorate however you want you may have this piece as plain cardstock and then you will do mats and layers you know which I'll show you because the mats and layers that I use inside will be the same for the front bringing me on to those here we have so then this piece here is the top piece of your case and this measures four and one eighth of an inch by that's not right it shouldn't be eight and a quarter I didn't cut that piece down no it should be the same length as this piece here yeah so seven and three quarters okay so this piece here is four and one eighth by seven and three quarters so I'll trim that down I'll just score and trim that in a second and then for all your mats and layers so this is the front piece my lid and I've got this here to sit inside which I've already stuck down so the blue mat that's behind this is three and seven eighths of an inch by seven and a half and then the layer on top is seven and a quarter by three and five eighths of an inch yeah okay so they're all ready and that's going to stick inside my lid like so so that is this piece here these two the green and the carrot paper and so this yellow piece is again three and seven eighths by seven and a half and this piece will be the same so three and five eighths by seven and a quarter okay and that will sit on top like so and that's going to go on top of this loose piece here like so you can see you get all your mats and layers okay so play around with what you want once you see me put it together then obviously you can decide further okay so I've done all of these score lines now we need to burnish so that was your lid you just need to fold that piece over which I had already done and obviously decorate it how you want I've already done this on cardstock this pattern so um, I've just done my rosette there if you want to see how to make rosettes I'll share some links in here but obviously decorate that how you want so for the main piece here this is the case you just want to fold and burnish all of these so it's kind of the way that you would start off a reinforced box but we're not going to be sticking the sides in together we're going to be creating like a, a little lip around the sides to stick that separate piece on top and that's purely because I couldn't get this as one kind of wrapped piece from the size cardstock that I had. But I'm also aware that more people have A4 or letter card size than 12 by 12. So that's why I thought I'm going to do it this way so that hopefully more people can do it. So what you want to do is um, along the short sides, you'll have four squares just like you would with a reinforced box. One, two, three, four. And you just want to cut down like so. So you're cutting past the first score line down to that second one on both of those. These outer ones you're removing completely. So you are doing it exactly like you would cut a reinforced box. Okay, so my scissors need uh, sharpening. I don't feel great at all. And then you're going to do the same. So now I've just and cut that top piece off. So you've just got that square. So I'll just repeat that again here for anybody that's not seen this before. So you're cutting down down remove that one completely and then that one okay don't worry about taking any wedges off for the minute okay just because I want to explain that a little bit differently because it does make quite a difference to this style I'm just going to swap my scissors over with those ones flip the whole thing round and cut exactly the same way again okay Okay, so I've done exactly the same now at both ends. Now one of these ends is going to be stuck down like so. So choose what end you want to be the bottom and you just want to take wedges off of these pieces here which will become your tabs and we're going to stick them inside. Okay, now you don't want to take any wedges off of this bottom one. Alright, so just that's all you need to do. So there you're going to really take some wedges off to create those tabs but you're going to leave that don't take any wedges off of it usually I do like in a box kind of tutorial but on this case you want to keep that just as it is flip it around 
and then you want to take just slight little wedges off so if anything I'm just really cutting away any score line that I might see so don't take as much off as that one it will all become clear in a minute you just get a much nicer closure because this piece here stays locked in that lid if you cut too much away it will just forever pop out so that's why I'm just showing you this way of just cutting it ever so slightly because it means everything will lock into place so I've just taken just very thin little slithers off and you want to do the same with this piece just a very very small amount so that the cardstock is pretty much wedging itself in there when you go to close this piece in okay so if you want if you're worried you're going to forget I'm just going to put B on that very last one there because that is actually all going to be covered you will see this piece because that's the base but just so I know that I'm going to stick down the right piece so now I'll go straight onto that actually. So I'm going to put glue onto these little tabs here. So, like so. And then again, like so. And just bring your tab down and bring that one across. Make sure you get a nice corner, nice right angle. Okay. And this whole section is. I've calculated that 5 eighths of an inch there is the right width for that particular chocolate bar. If you've got a chocolate bar that's maybe thinner, for example maybe a Hershey's bar, they're much much thinner, then you could afford to maybe bring this down to half an inch or even 3 eighths of an inch. So those of you that you know are kind of more confident in adapting these, it's, it is quite easy to do. And then again bring that around or you might want to put two of the thin chocolate bars in you know because you can so I reckon two Hershey bars would sit on top of each other and you might be able to get something else that's maybe square and you might be able to get maybe four treats or two treats in there so hopefully it will work for lots of other chocolates not just the one I'm using okay so now you'll have those two stuck and then you want to bring in these long sides and you're just going to pop a little bit of glue it's all going to get glued in a minute so don't worry if you go over just at the bottom there so that this piece can fold over. You can get your finger underneath there just so you've got something to push against and again that side there and just make sure that's all nicely stuck down for a minute. Okay so that's what you should now have. This is what I mean by it being deconstructed. Okay next this white piece is going to sit perfectly on top like so. Okay, should do. Mine looks a bit short there. Why is that coming off slightly shy? Oh, I know why. <laughs> it's because you take little wedges off of these top pieces. So it's okay, we can still do that here. I totally forgot. So I was thinking then it's not coming. If you turn it, flip it this side, and you just want to go in. It's not the end of the world, guys, so don't worry if you, you can't. But you just want to take little wedges off of there. So this side I can do it so you can see. Just like you did with your other tabs, like so. And then now when you stick that down, yeah, it's completely concealed. You can't see it poking out the top, that's all it was. Okay, so then you want to add glue all down here. Okay, and then stick this over. So now I'm going to flip that over and just with my ruler, I'm just going to go in there and push down on those two side pieces and along that bottom just so that we can make sure that's really stuck down. Like so. So now you've got your box. And then you should grab your chocolate. I'm going to pop it in now because it makes it easier to decorate and things like that. That goes right in. Then pop your side pieces over. Actually, I'm going to fold that that way pop your side pieces over and then because you've only taken little wedges off it should slide in Ooh. although mine's still gluing mine's still sticking and it will close and it won't pop out okay so if you cut too much off it will pop out but now you can just go in there and stick that all down a bit stronger like so okay and then with this piece you want to add glue all along the inside. You can use double sided tape if you would prefer. And then I'm going to hold it up like this 
and then wrap it around and that way I know I'm getting it all nicely lined up. And then you just want to decorate here so I've got that one that's going to stick in there and then those two are just going to stick inside like so. Okay, and then I've just got some ribbon here. Put that in the middle. This is optional, of course, and like I said, you may decide to do yours through the underneath the rosette. There you go. How cute is that? Oh, and I haven't done my side piece. <laughs> I cut it as well. This piece here is five eighths of an inch and it will stick right over there. So it's five, five eighths of an inch by the full width of the box, which is seven and seven eighths of an inch. So it will literally just stick along there and it gives you that nice spine there. So I'll stick that on after, you know what to do there. But yeah, I really like it. I think it's really cute. So that's that one. And then this one here, and I just put the bow back on. I think this is my favorite, purely because I just love carrots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why but I just really like that style so there you have it guys so I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial it's just a nice way an alternative way to you know send some chocolates instead of an easter egg this is quite good for posting as well there is a bit of a weight to it I would say but it's much easier to post and it would go through you know the letterbox so anyway there you have it hope you liked it please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye